My friends, what I have here is the Stan Sport Starlight Mesh Backpacking Tent. That's right, it is time to test out another Stan Sport tent. Will this one leak? I suspect it will. But in the end, the product will speak for itself. Unfortunately, with this company, every single one of their tent products that I've tested out has leaked. Every single product that I've tested out from them has been a raging piece of crap. I just don't get it. This company has been in business since 1949. How is that possible? How is that freaking possible? It's funny everyone, at the Stan Sports YouTube page, a video on the setup process of this tent just went up. 100% thumbs down on that video. Every single comment, negative. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand why the company continues to pump out garbage. I don't understand why they say stuff like this. Get out, get happy. We take the time to be outside laughing, sharing stories, making memories, and designing gear for people who love the outdoors like we do. We are Stan Sports. What a bunch of garbage. <laughs> What a bunch of garbage. I say that based upon my experiences with this company so far. Again, this is a brand new product. We will let the product speak for itself. Daniel, my friend, thank you very much for having this sent over. I appreciate you big time. The TOGR community is amazing. You all help out with these reviews. You get these products in so we can test them out. And I appreciate it and so does everyone else. Okay, so this is a test night episode. That means that a ton of rain is on the way and this product, without a doubt, will be put to the test. Will it leak? There's only one way to find out. Tent stakes, poles, fly, instructions, body. Overall, the setup process is not very good. As you all can see here, the tent features these sleeves. Factor those sleeves in with these fiberglass poles that do not stay together the setup process is highly annoying. The poles keep coming apart and they get stuck on those sleeves. With these hardships, it takes roughly 10 minutes to set up this tent. So folks, this is a $60 tent from Stan Sports. You can find this on sale for roughly 40 bucks if you're interested. Folks, take a look at this for a second. Look at how poor the stitching is here. I'm not sure if you all can see that, but there's holes in the fly. There's holes up here. That's ridiculous. Okay, now take a look at this, right? Look at this side. Look at how poorly done that is. I mean, that looks like absolute crap. Now, to be honest, folks, I'm not even sure why you have this tie-off point here. I mean, yeah, you can anchor this thing down in some wind or something, but look, it does very, very little. It would be much more beneficial to be able to pull the fly away from the body, but you can't do that. It lays right against the body here. Ventilation is going to be terrible inside of this tent because no airflow can get inside of the body when the tent is all sealed up. Even on the backside, there's no way to pull the fly away from the body. I mean, look at that, folks. There is virtually no ventilation with this tent. And check that out. The fly just barely covers the edge of the floor. And that's the case all the way around this tent. Now folks, the tent is ready to go. All we have to do is await some rain. Some rain and some storms. My feeling is that this tent is going to leak like crazy. What do you all think? Comment down below. With the tent being set up, you can tell that this shelter was designed by individuals who know absolutely nothing about backpacking. They know absolutely nothing about camping. Look at the design of this. First off, the front vestibule leans too far in one direction. The backside just barely covers the back of the tent. And there's no way to adjust this other than making the vestibule very loose and pulling the material back. That's what I've done. There's no way to pull the fly away from the body. So ventilation inside of this is going to be terrible. And that's assuming that it doesn't leak. I think it will. I think it's going to leak like crazy. My experiences with Stan Sports has been this. If you want to buy a tent that will get you killed, buy a Stan Sport product. It's that simple. Stan Sport speaks of this tent being protective against the elements. They say that you can take this to the campground or into the backcountry. You would have to be insane to take this anywhere. I mean, seriously, Stan Sports has that poor of a reputation and you can tell already how poor of a product this is. Now, I know I'm being hard on the company, but let me say this, the product will speak for itself, plain and simple. If it leaks, it leaks. If it doesn't, I will say so. I will eat my words. I have no problem saying I'm wrong when I'm wrong. So everyone, 
let's wait and see what happens. I am out here with the Stan Sport tent, and as you all can tell, it is raining heavily. It is definitely coming down right now. The tent has been outside for roughly 24 hours, and roughly six hours of that, it has rained. The thing is, it's been very minor rain, very light rain. So I'm still waiting for that really strong storm, that heavy downpour to really test this tent. Underneath the canopy of the trees here, it's very much protected, so it takes a really heavy rain to penetrate this, to really soak that tent. And that's what we want. That's what I'm after. I will not stop until this tent has gone through a thorough rain test. You all can see the Nature Hike Mongar 2 tent over there. It is also being tested at the same time as this one. The Mongar 2 out in the open has not leaked and neither has the Stan Sports tent. While the Stan Sport tent has not leaked so far with the light rain, I can tell you that the inside of the tent is wet. To me, it feels like a condensation issue or possibly moisture is just seeping up from the ground going through the material. But either way, on the inside of this tent, it is wet. We knew condensation was going to be an issue considering the fact that there's no ventilation in this tent at all. There's no way to get ventilation inside of this tent. This is by far the heaviest downpour, and I would say this is a moderate rain right now. Hopefully this will continue for a while to really test this tent. The more I think about this tent, the more I think about this company, I just can't help but get pissed off because people are getting ripped off. They're wasting their money with these products. Again, most of them have leaked. It's one of those things where like, I'm trying not to rage on this company, but it's frustrating. I really hate seeing people waste their money. I hate seeing people get ripped off. The Outdoor Gear Review is all about protecting you. It's all about protecting you, the viewer. I don't want to see you waste your money. I don't want to see anybody get hurt because people can die in a piece of shit like this. And the company, they need to do better. They really do. Selling products that are just complete garbage is not okay. Telling people they can go backpacking, they can go into the backcountry with a tent that leaks, it's not okay. It just, to me, it's incredibly frustrating. But um, <laughs> again, I'm not trying to rage, so <laughs> I'll control myself, but yeah. Even if this tent does not leak, I would not recommend this company. I would not recommend these products. I, I don't believe in supporting this company in the least little bit. My friends, it is the next day and my testing is done with the Stan Sports tent. Did it leak? I don't know. We are about to find out. So last night, unfortunately, no strong storms came into the area. So what we're dealing with is a moderate rainfall event. It was light rain for roughly six hours and then there were periods of moderate rainfall. Okay. This is where we are at. The tent leaked. Through the testing here, I know for a fact that this tent does not leak in light rain. It does have an issue with moderate rainfall. There's water inside of this tent. 
but it's not the worst I've seen from this company. If you all have seen the other Stan Sport products, those were swimming pools compared to this. What I can say about this tent is that it's the most waterproof Stan Sport tent that I've tested out but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Ventilation is one of the worst factors for this tent. It's very poorly designed, the quality is terrible. I do not recommend it. I do not recommend supporting a company like this. Again, this tent did not face heavy rainfall, moderate at best, and that's the leaking that we got. So can I recommend this tent? No, I can't. Let's just forget the waterproof aspect to it. Let's talk about breathability. That, in my opinion, is the second biggest weakness to this tent. The first being, this is one poorly made product. I mean, it's unbelievable just how poor the quality is with this tent. I mean, you can see how it's been cut. You can see just how little respect is being given to their customers. For these reasons, folks, I do not recommend this tent. I do not recommend this company. I have no idea how or why the company is in business. It simply does not make any sense to me. So there you go, folks. That's it. I'm done with this tent. I'm going to find a child who wants a tent to play with in their yard, and I'm going to give this away. Again, just like all the other Stan Sport products, this tent is rubbish. It's garbage. Do not buy it. I think my biggest issue with this company is the lack of respect that they have for their customers. My biggest concern is that someone is going to get hurt using a Stan Sport product. I've said this before, I will say it again. Someone's going to look at the packaging, they're gonna see that it says that it offers protection, they're going to take it out into the middle of nowhere, bad things are going to happen. I just don't wanna see that happen, folks. And that's why I make these videos. I will continue testing out other Stan Sport products and we will see just how well they perform. Then we will move on to other companies as well and put their claims to the test. Again, the Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Honestly, folks, I'm here to share information and that is it. That's it, agenda free. So make sure to comment down below, what do you all think about this tent? What do you all, th the quality is so bad. I mean, I just can't believe it. It's pure shit. it's unbelievable. And it's funny, it's like talking to you all about this. I really have to keep my anger in check here because I can easily rage. Anyways, I'm done. Everyone take care, be well, strength and honor. Can't wait to read the comments. Bye, folks.